KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny, a very pleasant, getting warmer, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a slightly mixed bag out there. That mix is only coming from the semis, which are trading down 17 points. Otherwise, the other U.S. indices, they're all trading to the upside. Dow's up 190, about a half percent, three-tenths for the S&P, or 17 points, two-tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 31 points there. The Russell's up a half a percent, 11 points. You've got the Trandy's up 78. That's a half a point as well, half a percentage as well gold's up 17 bucks three quarters of percent silver is up two and seven tenths percent 73 pennies trading out of 28.34 we may get a profile change in trend signal there light speed crude which yesterday confirmed a gartley buy pattern is up 26 cents trading out of 79 and a quarter natural gas up nine pennies continuing its uh, move to the top of its consolidation breakout and a 30-year treasury is basically flat printed out at 116.06 let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel Market update chart. We'll begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. You'll see the A to B equals CD pattern that is in place out there. It needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. Short of that, price should go target its next price projection area. That's up in the 5278 level. If there was to be a bearish reversal candle that forms anywhere along the line, that would generate a sell the D point pattern. If we take a look at the spot volatilities, still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That provides bulls or buyers with the edge. In the case of the NQ, like the ES Mini, it's attained its one-to-one -one price projection. It needs a bullish, a bearish reversal candle to confirm a top. Short of that, price will go target 18,449. U.S. dollar index is trading with inside its daily profile. Support at 104.80, resistance at 106.18. If we take a look at Goldilocks, Goldilocks moving higher right now, running into potential resistance. That's at the center of its weekly profile, 23.46.70. If price can close above that, we're looking at a move up to the 24.48 level. In the case of silver, again, if we close today above 27.84 and we close above that again tomorrow, that'll confirm a change in trend, a profile change in trend signal. That would then suggest to move up to 29.51. That's the top of the weekly profile. Profile. In the case of light sweep crude, we can see a nice bullish engulfing candle that formed yesterday. That confirmed that by the D point, that Gartley buy pattern out there. And now we have a new profile. It's bullish in structure. That suggests we should see move up to 8031. That is the top of that daily profile. Natural gas forming a new profile. This morning it's trading into that level, that resistance at 2.274. Close above that. And we should see a move up to the uh, top of that consolidation at about the 240 level. And we have a new profile, the 30 year that's forming. Support at 115.14. Resistance out of 116.16. A pretty narrow range out there. Uh, folks, uh, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show if you would. But if you're off to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. And we look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.